Hey guys, this is Brian, aka Texas Treasures, and today I'm back. It's been a long time since I've made a video, and today I'm going to show you what sold for me recently. These are items that have sold for $100 or more over the past 90 days on eBay. All of the amounts will include shipping and handling, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, um, and by the way, making this content, it's been a while, like I said, but I'm making this to kind of show you what some items that are selling for me for good profit. You might be able to find these when you're outsourcing in the wild. So we'll start at number 10 and we will finish at the best selling item for me over the past 90 days. At number 10, we have a pair of Ariat cowboy boots. Um, these have the ostrich skin, they're brown leather. Uh, notice I'm using the keyword botas, which is a Spanish word for uh, boots. And anytime I find Ariat, Ariat is a good brand, whether it's clothing or shoes, especially, especially in the boots. Uh, I sell a lot of the work boots. Um, ostrich quill is definitely a skin or a leather that you're, you would want to be on the lookout for. And it does help bring in better money. So this pair, this pair sold for $111.75. The totals will be different because usually I take offers or I will use a store coupon, which is why the amounts will not match up. But that's my number 10 sell of the week. Next up at number nine, uh, well, not of the week, of the past 90 days, I usually do the, the weekly what sells, which I'll get back to. But anyway, at number nine, we have an international order. I forget where this one ships, somewhere to Europe. We have a pair of Vans um, OTW Bedford Timberleg collection. Um, this is like a canvas top with a le leather high top, and these sold for $114.98. Um, I need to make a, let me make a note, I need to make a video on, on Pirate Ship International because I ship, I ship most of my international orders via Pirate Ship Simple Export. And their rates are a lot lower than eBay. So I typically make some pretty good money on the shipping. Um, and, and so anyway, I'll, I'll make a video. Maybe that'll be my next video. A pirate ship shipping video. I think that would be good. Anyway, with shipping, these show for, sold for $114.98. And um, definitely didn't cost me as much to ship as was charged to the customer thanks to pirate ship. All right, next up at number eight, um, a lot of these top 10 are gonna be shoes. They're not all shoes. I do sell clothing and shoes. Now it's mostly clothing, but still some shoes. Um, here we have a pair of Allen Edmonds Park Avenue shoes, size 9.5D brown leather, Oxford's made in the USA. Allen Edmonds is a very expensive made in the USA brand of, uh, of shoes. They're, they're they can cost hundreds up to thousands of dollars. So a lot of people don't know about these. So if I find these on the on the cheap, I will pick them up because they can flip for really good money. And the cool thing about Allen Edmonds is they have different, um, each shoe will have a, def, a different brand name. I don't know if you can see it here in this picture, um, but it's gonna be right here on the insole. Yeah, there it is. You can see the avenue, it's turned upside down, but it says Park Avenue. And that's how you can identify which model of the shoes they are. And these with shipping sold for $118.99. Okay, next at number seven, our seventh best sell of the past 90 days. Um, we have a new pair of shoes. I, I do a small amount of retail arbitrage with the new shoes. I pick these up at the Nike outlet. I think I paid 25 for them. Um, and these are a pair of Nike Free Metcon 4 with this really unique colorway black tiger stripes. You know, it's going to bring out the inner tiger in you. I'm sure while you're running, you're going to run like a beast, like a tiger. These are women's size 10.5. A lot of people will kind of pass on the bigger sizes on women's shoes. I don't because big women need shoes too. These sold for $120.38. They did go to the Nike, um, part of the Nike authentication process, and I've had zero problems with that. Every shoe I've sent has been authenticated, so not a problem. Matter of fact, I think it's good for sellers. All right, next up at number six, I think I picked this up at the Goodwill 
outlet. Um, yeah, I remember when I found these. So this is by the pound. So I probably spent, I don't know, three or four dollars on this. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren sweater, uh, men's size medium in this cool kind of teal color. It was 100% wool, cardigan, uh, keywords grandpa button up. Beautiful sweater. I think this one, this one was also an international order. Maybe it shipped to the Netherlands or Sweden, somewhere up there. One of those cold European countries. Um, and with, with it, it shipped for $124.78, including shipping. And once again, I use Pirate Ship, um, so it didn't cost me nearly as much as eBay charges for shipping. So that helps your, your bottom dollar, and that's always a good thing. Okay, next up, we're in the top five. By the way, if you're finding this content useful, smash the like button. Um, comment below, like, what, what's been your best sell? that you've had over the past 30 days or even 90 days. I'd like to hear what you guys are out there selling for good profit, expand, profit, expand my Rolodex. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, top five. Next up at number five, we have a pair of vintage Justin cowboy boots. Um, style number 3161 with a black shark leather. Um, Hold on, Clay. I'll call. I'll call you right back. Sorry, getting a little phone call there. Let me finish this video. This has black shark leather, and this sold with shipping for one hundred and forty-one dollars and fifteen cents. I'm in Texas. Texas Treasures is in Texas, and we find a lot of cowboy boots. So anytime I can get them, um, usually I pick them up for ten dollars or more. A pair of boots like this, I would have paid up, but I'm pretty sure I paid ten or less on this. Cowboy boots can definitely make you some big money. Next up at number four, um, I think this was another Goodwill outlet find. This is a snap-on tools jacket. Men's extra large, real heavy canvas coat. Snap-on is a very good brand. So when I saw this in the, in the bins, I was like, yes. Um, so I probably paid five or six dollars based on the weight on this. Um, and this one shipped for $160.22. A lot of people at my outlets will Pass on jackets and coats, not me. I will scoop them up if they're good, especially a snap-on. Um, $160 sell, you can't beat that, uh, in, in my opinion. And yeah, I, I think a lot of people shopping at the outlets, they're looking for the, the lightweight things, and I'm looking for profit. Light, heavy, it don't matter to me. Next up at number three, speaking of jackets, and by the way, this is the time of year to be to be selling your jackets, your coats. I know my jean sales are also picking up. This was also a Goodwill outlet find. This sold within a couple of weeks of being listed. This jacket new um, sells for like a thousand dollars or more. This, and I hope I don't mispronounce it. It's a floret coat, women's two X, which is a plus size overcoat, trench coat, hundred percent cashmere. Anytime I find any item that's cashmere, I'm going to check it out and see if I can sell it for some good money. Um, this one was shipping. I took an offer for $177.35, probably 5 or $6 into it, um, and people were just passing right by this. Um, all right, next up, let's kind of switch gears a little bit here. My second biggest sell, um, this sold for $250, $254. This includes shipping. But this was a large bundle of clothing items. One of the benefits of niching down into a category or a niche is that your store will be filled up with a lot of similar items and your customers can come in, find their size, um, and, and make you offers. Like none of these were really big monies, money items individually, <clears throat> but you can see, well, I, I did have these Chippewa lager boots. Those were probably my biggest item. But they also bought a pair of Johnson & Murphy shoes, a <clears throat> Banana Republic button shirt, Brooks Brothers dress shirt, J. Crew button shirt, St. John's button shirt, Nautica button shirt, a pair of Old Navy shorts, Gap button shirt, a 2019 Turkey Trot t-shirt, there you go, and a couple of pair of Levi's. So none of these were giant money items, but most of these items, I'm in like a dollar or two each. Um... And so when they can add all those items in, and anytime I ship a big order all out at one time, I'm going to make some money on shipping as well. 
So it's a win for the customer. It's a win for me. I, I typically will give them a discount on shipping if they ask. I do believe this customer asked, so I gave them a discount, but I still made a little bit on shipping and they got a whole bunch of items at one time. So that's that's the power of niching down where you don't always have to rely on the home run. So um, this can save what might have been a slow sales day for me and turn it around with this big bundle order. All right, we're up to the number one item, the best sell I've had over the past 90 days. Once again, hope you're finding this useful. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, comment, let me know what's your best sell of the past so past 90 days or so. All right, here, um, this is a pair of vintage Nike ACG hiking boots. These sold with shipping to for $276.53. These were in the, made in the 90s, and I, I, I'll tell you the little story about these. These have an interesting little story. Um, these did get authenticated as well. Like, I passed these up. These were at a local thrift, and they were kind of pressed up. They were like $14, and I think I passed them by the first week or two. And uh, I think on, like, my second or third week, I stopped and I looked at them. I didn't even, didn't even click to me that these were Nikes. And I looked at this tag, and on this tag, you can tell that this is an old vintage tag. This It's not the greatest picture, but you can look this up. And this was actually made in the 90s. It's men's size 11. Um very rare and i looked up comps and these were going for great money you can see this kind of like aztec well i call it aztec i don't know like a geometric print right there um but the moral of the story is it's okay to pay up you know you don't always have to get things for a dollar or two just you got to learn your niche and learn to look things up and yeah these were made in 1994 so definitely vintage 276 dollars. this one made me really happy i paid 14 plus tax on it so those are my top 10 sales, all sales over $100 over the past 90 days. Hope you found this content useful and we'll see you on the next video, guys.